This video is brought to you by Rotato. Build beautiful app showcases, designs, and 3D mockups in any device with Rotato. Head to iosacademy.io slash Rotato to get your copy now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're gonna be learning all about menus in Swift UI. So we're gonna hit this plus button at the top right here. You'll see we get this component uh, that opens up, which is a Swift UI menu. And we'll take a look at, you know, how to style this, how to add these icons. And then we'll also take a look at how to add menus within menus. Now this is new for iOS 14, which I guess isn't that new anymore, but uh, you know, it's not available in 13 or anything below 14. So uh, pretty cool component that Apple's provided here. So if this all sounds good to you, make sure you start by destroying the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel for Swift and iOS daily uploads. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS and let's just go ahead and call this project Swift UI Menus. Make sure your language of course is set to Swift and both your lifecycle and interface are set to Swift UI. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. We'll toss it onto our desktop. And first things first, let's go ahead and expand our Xcode window here. Let's go ahead and resume our preview so we can get this guy building. And I'm also gonna change the device here. Let's make something a little newer. Let's go with the 12 Pro Max so we can feel like we're developing the latest and greatest and awesome. There is our preview and let's, uh, let's get into this. Let me just bump up the font size. So the first I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this uh, label out here and we're gonna start off with a navigation view. We're gonna to try to spell everything correctly in this video. I'm gonna to toss a V stack and here we'll paste that text back in. So like you saw in the beginning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a navigation uh, item at the top right here. When we press it, we're gonna see a menu. Uh, first things first, we need to add that item. So we're gonna use a toolbar modifier, but even before I do that, let me go ahead and add a title on our V stack. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this Swift UI menus. All right, looking good. And on our text here, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add a toolbar modifier. And we can just stick with this first one here and uh, we don't need that. We can use a trailing view builder, just like that. And we're just gonna want a single toolbar item. Let's open up our parentheses for all of our initializers. And we want the one that has a placement and content. Now this placement thing loves to never autocomplete. So what I suggest you do if you wanna see all the options is uh, it tells you it's a toolbar item placement. So what you can do is you can say tool bar item placement and then put a dot uh, and then your options will pop up. We're gonna stick with navigation trailing, which will be the top right if I'm not mistaken. And let's get rid of that initial uh, prefix. And the content is going to just be a trailing closure since once again it is a view builder let me go ahead and close up this left panel so we have more code room and let's see i'm also going to go ahead and hit command b make sure everything's building you'll see we have our title but still no uh, actual uh still no actual uh, item up there so in here what we want to do is create a menu now we're going to create a menu with content and a label so we want this one right here let's uh disregard this uh content for a quick moment but let's go ahead and add a label. And this label is basically what's gonna show up in that toolbar uh, button at the top right. So in the label, we're gonna actually use a label component. Naming might be slightly confusing. And in the actual title here, let's give a text. I'm gonna go ahead and call it add. Um, and the actual image is going to be an image. And we're gonna use a system image, which is a SF symbol. And let's go ahead and use, I believe it's called a plus. So go ahead and add those and go ahead and hit resume back on your preview. And you should see a little plus button at the top right here, just like that. Awesome. So now when we actually tap on it, we want to show something. So you'll notice we already actually brought in a menu here. We just need to add items to it. So let's take a look at how to do that. Um, and it's actually pretty straightforward and trivial. So in this menu, all we're going to do is add a button for each of the entries that we want. So let me go ahead and add a couple buttons. We're gonna use the initializer, which has an action and a label. Let's go ahead and call this guy, uh, I don't know, we can go ahead and say 
uh, add file. I'm just gonna copy and paste this a few times. This is going to be, I don't know, rate app. This one will be settings. Let me add one more for the sake of it. And this one will be, I guess, privacy policy. And let's go ahead and hit our live preview now so we can actually tap on the button and see that menu. And we tap on it, you'll get this cool component as you expect, it's a menu. And uh, each of these buttons, you know, has an action. So you could just call whatever functionality in there that you want. You know, if you wanna update some binding, you can do that in there as well. But let's take this one step further because it's kind of plain looking. So because each of these are nothing more than a button, uh, for the actual label here, you can literally provide whatever you want. So let's say you want an icon and we wanna go ahead and use a label which has both a title and an icon. We can do that. So I'm gonna put a label right there. And this guy is going to be once again, a image. And we're gonna use a system name, just like we did down below. And I think there is an image called doc for documents. Now, let me go ahead and copy and paste this so we can modify these other ones in one shot as well. Just like that and that. And finally, this one down here, just like that. And let's go ahead and tweak these really quickly. So this one was, I think it was rate app, and I'm gonna guess that there's a star image. And this one here is settings. I think there is a gear image. And this one is privacy. And I think there's something along the lines of like hand raised or something for representing a privacy symbol. So go ahead and hit Command B, make sure everything is still building. Let's go ahead and tap on this one more time. Looks like we need to resume our preview. As per usual, let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and tap on that. And boom, now you have your uh, icons here as well. And it's starting to look better. So I wanna go over one more thing, which is pretty interesting. Um, and that's the notion of you can put menus inside of menus. Um, so let's say you wanna have like 30 different options in here, but you don't want your menu to be you know, obnoxiously long. What you could do is you could show the top three and then inside of here, what you can do is literally, so let's actually copy and paste this whole menu and we can add another option in our menu, which is another menu. Um, so just bear with me because it's gonna be a tad bit weird, but let's go ahead and delete two of these buttons in this sub menu. And for this one here, instead of using a label, what I'll go ahead and do is let me update, update this to say something along the lines of like more options. And I'll update this uh, internal, internal uh, buttons in the sub menu. And I'm just gonna say option one and option two, just so we can differentiate between the other options. And the functionality that this gives you out of the box of you know, handling multiple menus within menus is pretty nice. Cause that way you don't have to deal with you know, overflow and all that, all that complexity. So go ahead and hit command B hit resume over here in your preview. Let's go ahead and tap on that plus button. And now you'll see we have a more options down here. We tap on it, boom, it updates to another menu. Um, it doesn't actually drop down. Maybe that's what you think should happen, but it does switch to the other menu. So, you know, I digress. It does give you the functionality to nest these menus, which is pretty cool. Um, and the last, last thing I'll call out here is, of course, it looks really nice on iPad. It looks really nice in dark mode as well. Let me just switch this guy to a dark theme really quickly. Uh, and you guys can take a peek at that. But uh, of course, you know, it's SwiftUI built out of the box, works uh, well with any different uh, environments, dynamic font, all that good stuff. So there you have it. That's how you can use uh, and bring in a menu into your app. Now we demoed it here with a toolbar. You can uh, show this menu from basically anywhere. Toolbars are just common. So you can have, you know, have a button in your navigation bar or down at the bottom. But if you guys enjoyed the video and haven't dropped a like down below, make sure to do so. It helps out the videos quite a bit. Leave a comment down below. Are you playing with SwiftUI? Do you use it in your production apps? Are you using it at work? Um, I always find that there's an interesting divide between people who like are super into SwiftUI and there's people that are you know super against it or not willing to get into it. So let me know which one you fall into. So uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.